Hi, I'm Qin Chiu from Department of Anatomy, University of Hong Kong. Today, I'm going to introduce how to microdissect red brain into four major parts, olfactory bulb, frontal cortex, striatum, and hippocampus. Here is a schematic image to show how we dissect the brain. There is three cuts. The first cut plane is at the connection of olfactory bulb and the frontal cortex. The second cut plane is at the genome of the corpus callosum. The third cut plane is at the anterior tip of the fornix. After three cuts, there will be four brain parts. On the left side is the olfactory bulb. On the right side is the hippocampus. Frontal cortex lies between the first cut and the second cut. Coding nuclease, which is part of the striatum, lies between the second and the third cut. On a fresh brain hemisphere, it's very important to recognize the corpus callosum and the phonics first. Then we can easily locate the three cuts. The first cut plane is at the connection of a factor bulb and the frontal cortex. The second cut plane is at the genome of the corpus callosum, and the third cut plane is at the anterior tip of the phonix. We are going to dissect the brain under the microscope. The dissection tools are kept ice cold. After rinsing with ice cold DEPC water, we put the brain onto the ice cold metal plate by half it into two equal hemispheres. Separate our factor bulb from frontal cortex. Collect it and store in liquid nitrogen. Next, we start to collect frontal cortex. Cut around the anterior tip of the corpus callosum. Cut the frontal cortex, collect it, and store it in liquid nitrogen. Next, we dissect the striatum. Make a cut at the plane of anterior tip of fornix and the anterior commission fiber. Separate the coding nucleus. Collect it and store in liquid nitrogen. Finally, we are going to dissect the hippocampus. First, we need to get rid of the midbrain so that we can have a good exposure of hippocampus. Separate the hippocampus. Collect it and store in liquid nitrogen. Different brain regions associate with different neurodegenerative diseases. For example, striatum relates with Parkinson's disease well, frontal cortex and hippocampus relates with Alzheimer's disease. 
Precise microdissection of the brain allows us to detect mRNA and protein changes in the region.